Hi friends, welcome back and if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm so excited for today's video. I've been watching YouTube. I honestly watch YouTube more than I watch TV and I've been seeing this new challenge. I don't know if it's a challenge, but it's just a video where people follow other people's makeup tutorials and they try to recreate it. So that's what we're doing today. We're using one of my favorite palettes ever. This is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm actually going to be following along Jaclyn Hill using her palette. So I'm excited for this. You guys know I love this palette. I featured it in so many videos, hauls, makeup tutorials. Um, I featured this in my best of the best, my best of beauty 2017. I'll leave a link to all of those down below, but this has been my most used palette since I've purchased it. So we're going to follow along with Jacqueline. I'm a little nervous because in case you didn't know, I'm not the same skin tone as Jacqueline, so I don't know if it's going to look as good as her look did. And I don't know if I should change, like, in, when like when she uses a crease color, if I should use something deeper because I'm deeper. But I want to kind of honor the makeup tutorial and follow it just as she does it. So we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to zoom you in and we're going to get started. All right, got you zoomed in. So in Jacqueline's video, she already had her foundation brows on. So I've got that done. So let's just jump into the tutorial. If you see me looking down, I'm looking at Jacqueline so I can follow along. But... I will put her somewhere on the screen here. So let's do this. I don't know why I'm nervous. I think because some of the colors that she uses in the palette, I wouldn't use the way she's using them. So let's start. Which is the shade Silk Cream. This is the Morphe R37, but it does not matter if it's Morphe, if it's MAC, if it's whoever in the world. I would just suggest going in with a natural hair brush initially because it's going to just put everything on really light and buff it out really smooth and not put on too much pigment. Okay, so she starts by putting this color in the crease, which I don't know how that's going to look on my brown skin. So we're going to start with this color in the crease, and then we're also going to blend this color in the crease. I don't know the names of these shadows because I bought this at the Morphe store the day it launched, and I didn't have like the little name insert. So this color and this color in the crease. This should be interesting. And I am using a MAC, oh, so I can't even see, MAC 217. She used a Morphe brush. I don't have a lot of Morphe brushes. I think I have like four or five Morphe brushes. So, oh God. Let's see how this looks in my crease. Oh, wow, that's light. That is light, friends. That is very light. <laughs> We're just going to go with it. I'm going to honor the tutorial, okay? Usually, I would put a deeper brown color in my crease, but I'm just going to follow along with what Jacqueline did. Once I blend it out, it actually doesn't look that bad. I mean, it just looks like a very pale color in my crease. Okay, we're only two colors in, and I'm looking at myself and how Jacqueline looks at this point, and it definitely looks deeper on her in the crease, obviously, because she's a lighter skin tone than I am. For me, it actually doesn't look bad. It just looks very, like, it just looks like my skin tone, just smooth. It just looks like a smooth brown color. There's not as much depth as for Jacqueline, and that's just typical when, like whenever I watch uh, people's tutorials that are not my skin tone, I basically just change the colors to go with what they're doing, but for my skin tone. So while she's using these lighter colors in the crease, lighter for me, I would usually use deeper colors to add depth and dimension. But this is not Nikki's spin on Jacqueline's tutorial, this is me following her tutorial. But I just wanted to let you know that, that obviously it's not going to look exactly the same. We're not the same skin tones. And it's just normal when you watch people, like for people that watch maybe my makeup tutorials and they're very fair, you wouldn't use probably the exact same color I use in my, uh, as my transition shade because it would probably be too, too dark for you. So usually I would not use these in the crease, but it doesn't look bad. It just doesn't look how hers looks obviously so next up she went in with this shade I've actually never used this shade this tutorial is teaching me there are a lot of shades in here that I don't use I tend to gravitate towards all these shimmery ones and then these last two rows actually basically I use everything except these 
uh, two, four, six, eight, these shadows here. And it's funny, that's what she's using a lot of, um, because I just feel like they were too light. Like sometimes I will use this first shade at the inner corner. I love it. So moving on, she called this like a pukey color and she's putting this on the lower, um, lower, what do you call this? I'm not a makeup artist, by the way. I want to say the crease, but not as high as she took the other colors. And she's using the same brush, so I'm using the same brush. Area as before, I was blending it a higher up. Now I'm going to be keeping it really nice and precise, which is why I love this brush because it does have like that tapered tip, so it allows me to get like a little bit tighter when I need to. <laughs> <laughs> Mine doesn't look like Jacqueline's. It looks like I have nothing on my eyes. <laughs> I hope you guys are seeing it on camera as I'm seeing it. it look, my eyes look really smooth, like smooth, nice, matte, but it doesn't look like I've put, how many eyeshadows have I used at this point? Three or four eyeshadows on my eye. And I keep blending because I'm like, wait, how come it doesn't look deep? But it's because I'm brown, obviously. So this will be interesting to see how it all turns out. All right, next up we have the Cover FX setting powder and she used this to carve out the eye shape that she wants. I'll leave a link to all of this down below. I really like this powder. I've never done this before, so this should be interesting. She makes it look so easy. She just like stamps it on. Oh no, hers didn't look like that. <laughs> I think my brush, the brush she's using is a lot um, smaller. This one's a lot wider. That's not horrible. We're just gonna rock with it. Do I have a smaller one? Maybe we can try this brush. This is the Artiste Oval 3 brush. It's not exactly like what she used, but just to give us a sharper line. That's not horrible. It just doesn't look like what she did. Um, there we go, that's better. And she says it just helps to give you the shape you want for your eyeshadow without being too harsh like using scotch tape. Okay, next up we're taking these two shades here and putting them on the outer corner of the eye. That should be easy enough, right? Hopefully it'll show up on my skin tone. Mixing those two, outer corner. Oh yeah, that's nice. See, that's probably what, that's what I would normally put in my crease, a color like this. Uh, I'm going to go in with some in light, which is the very first shade in the palette, on just a stiff synthetic brush. This is the MAC 242. I'm going to put that in the very inner corner of my eye. I'm obsessed with highlighting my inner corner with this shade. It is my go-to, like no matter what color I am, like how dark I am, how light I am. Like, I just love in light so much for highlighting purposes. I love it too. I love it too, Jacqueline. the Kat Von D, the first color <clears throat> I do love this color to do the inner corner. I'll usually take it all the way in here and then just do a lighter shade. That's like my go-to work look. It makes my eyes look bright and awake and it's nice and just good for every day. I brought it a little further in than she did hers just because I love a light inner corner. And then she went in with a Kat Von D, the Shade and Light palette, which I don't have, and put a lighter corner on the um, middle of the lid. So I'm just gonna use one from her palette. Let's see. I'm going to just put that right over top. I'm gonna use this color right next to the one we just used and put that over top in the middle. Um, you guys, I feel like I look crazy. <laughs> I look, I look like I have nothing on my eyes in my crease on the outer corner and then just these bright, the bright white shade. Oh gosh, I think I should probably fix this. We're gonna do it till the end. We're gonna do everything she does and then I'll try and go in and fix it for my skin tone. 
But this is a lesson learned, which I'm sure a lot of you brown girls or anybody of color knows, like when you're watching someone that's not your skin tone, or like I said, if you're fair and you watch someone who's a deeper skin tone, sometimes you cannot follow everything they do. You need to use stuff that complements your skin tone. That's just common sense. But this is all in good fun. Jacqueline looks fabulous right now, and I look crazy. Like, I, I just look crazy. So the next thing she does is she wipes away that powder. So let's do that. And it does work. It gives you a very nice shape with looking natural. That's what she said. And it really does work. I'm going to start using that trick because I did used to use scotch tape, like she mentioned, and it kind of gives you these harsh lines. And sometimes if you don't do them evenly, it just looks crazy and it's very hard to fix. So that's a really nice trick. I'm going to start using that. Now this is something I've never done before, using eyeshadow and just stamping it on as eyeliner. I really like that. And because this black color is so deep and pigmented, it really does a good job of doing that. I'm gonna start doing that from now on. Thanks, girl. I always learn new tricks from Jacqueline. Cause like I told you guys, I'm not a makeup artist and Jacqueline was, or still is a professional makeup artist. So I learned a lot of tricks from her over the years. I really like this idea and how easy is that? And it made the perfect line. And I feel like it really defined my eyes. I really like that. I have to say, I'm glad I stuck with this look so far. It doesn't look that bad. It looks like a very natural, pretty look, actually. It looks more natural on me than it does on Jacqueline, just because the colors look a little different on my skin tone. But I think I like it, guys. Like, this could be a very nice, natural, everyday look. So, next, Jacqueline used, I think, Blinkin' Butte lashes. I don't have those, so I'm just going to use my favorite drugstore lashes. These are the Kiss Gala lashes. So, I'm going to pop these on, and I'll be right back. Okay, lashes are on. I popped on some mascara on the lower lash line, and it just made me realize how my lower lash line, they're so stubby. I have like, my little lashes are so stubby. My lashes have grown because I've been using a lash serum that I'll leave a link to it down below. Um, I actually got it on Amazon. If you haven't seen my Amazon hauls, I'm addicted to Amazon. I'll leave a link to those down below. I find so many good beauty products and just stuff in general on Amazon. So next up, Jacqueline took the shade, um, this first shade here, and lightly put a little bit on the inner, not the inner, but at the top of the brow. So I've never used that shade for that. Uh, what brush will we use? I'm doing all types of things I wouldn't usually do. And I'm liking the way it's turning out. And I'll just like to use my finger because I want to blend that out. I like the warmth from my finger to really blend that out and make it look a little more natural. And I like the way that looks, actually. I wouldn't usually think to use that bright shade there. I usually use a little deeper of a color. Okay, so that's everything for the eyes. Um, Jacqueline did do her face, but all the stuff she used I didn't have, like the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, uh, the La Mer Bronzer. I don't have any of that, so I'm going to go do the rest of my face, and then I'll come back and tell you what I think of this look. Okay, look is all done, and I'm actually shocked. I really like the way it came out. I followed everything that Jacqueline did, well, specifically on the eyes. The face, I did my own thing, but... I really like the way this eye look turns out. Now, if you're new around here, I do not usually do looks like this. Um, I like yellows, pinks, blues. I'm not a neutrals girl. I like very loud, colorful looks, but I think this is super wearable for every day. It was really easy to do. And even though I use the exact same colors that she did, I like the way it turned out, even on my skin tone. It's just not as, um, not. I don't want to say not as dramatic. It's just not... It doesn't look the same because we're different skin tones, but it looks very nice. And I learned some new techniques, like about using the powder to get that line you want without it being too sharp, um, using eyeshadow for your liner. 
I really like the way it turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let's jump into some product reviews. If you're new around here at the end of my videos, I update you on products either I've been loving, not loving, or anything that was sent to me or that I've purchased recently. So <clears throat> I was struggling through this video. I'm just now getting over my like seven day, or it was like five day sinus infection. So if I sounded stuffy, sorry. I probably should have said that at the beginning of the video. So first up, we got some new goodies from Derma E. First, we have their three-in-one hair protection serum. It says strengthen, smooth, and shine serum. I didn't know Derma E made um, hair products, so I'm excited to try that out. If you have never heard of Derma E, it's a very clean, natural line. Let's see, it says no soy, gluten, parabens, harmful sulfates, GMOs, mineral oil, or artificial colors just a very clean organic line i think they're organic and they are cruelty free vegan yeah and so we also have the derma e organic argon oil blend it says for hair skin and nails it has kukuki and jojoba oil i'm excited i love their oils i've been using their rejuvenating sage and lavender face oil because lately my skin has been dry af so i'm excited to try this one out that's going in recycling um, let's see. I want to smell it. It doesn't have a smell and it says it's organic too. I can't wait to use this. I use argon oil everywhere, hair, skin, nails. So that's awesome. I'm excited to try those out. Another product that was sent to me, this is from number seven. Um, I actually have another product from them I want to show you. This is the Youthful Vitamin C Fresh Radiance Essence. It says for brighter, healthier, more radiant looking skin in just two weeks. And this is affordable. You can find number seven, I think at Target, drugstores, um, online. How much is this? And I told you guys, one of my New Year's resolutions was to try more affordable products. So this is $24.99. Oh, so it's not like drugstore pricing. It's basically like mid-range pricing. Um, so how do you use this? It says, remove the screw cap, screw cap, blah, blah, blah. Tap three times to ensure all the powder has been released. Huh? What powder? This is a powder serum? Wait, what? Directions for use. Remove the screw cap from the liquid and replace with the vitamin C cap. Press to fully dispense the vitamin C powder. I thought it was a liquid. This is what it looks like. So it comes in a box like this, and this is what it looks like. I don't know why it's called a powder, but anyways, okay. Two to three times uh, release, shake well to activate until the vitamin C powder is fully dissolved. What? So there's a top in here. Does this have powder? What am I missing? I'm confused. I don't know. Recommended two-week treatment. I'll have to play with this. I don't know if any of you have used this and you know, I'm assuming you just take the top off and you put this top on. Oh. And then you squeeze. Oh. <gasps> Was I supposed to do that? That is so cool. So you put this silver top on and it like dispensed some powder in there from the top. So remove the screw cap, replace with the vitamin C cap, press to fully dispense the vitamin C powder. Tap two or three times to ensure all the powder has been released and the chamber is empty. Shake well to, until all the powder is activated. That is so cool. So you put on this silver top and then you push down this white button and there was powder in there and it goes into the liquid. And then it says shake well. So you shake it. And then you replace the vitamin C cap with the dropper. So it, gives, it comes with this dropper. This is so cool. I've never tried something like that where you use it yourself. So you put the dropper in and screw that on. And then apply three to five drops onto fingertips and massage into clean skin covering the whole face. Use morning and evening. Let's do a drop of it on the hand see what consistency it's like oh yeah it's like a thick liquid it feels very cool oh and it thins out very nicely Ooh, that smells nice it smells kind of floral though I was expecting it to smell like oranges 
because of vitamin C. But it's not a super, super like heavy, intense floral scent. I'm going to try this out over the next couple of weeks and I'll let you know how it goes. Let me know if any of you have tried it. That's very interesting. Another product from number seven. I'm looking in my makeup bag because I actually have it on now. This is their blush. This is the Berry Crush Blush. I really like it. Very easy to apply. Let me show you a swatch of it. Beautiful color that I feel like would look great on so many skin tones. So it's a little bit more pigmented when you swatch it. When you actually apply it, it shears out, which I like because I tend to be too heavy handed with blush. So I've really been liking this. I have it on now and I've been using it every day since I've first started using it. Next up, we have the Brazilian. This is from Sol de Janeiro. You guys know I love this brand. They make the Bum Bum Cream, the Body Power Cream. This is the Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. It has pistachio and caramel notes uh, powered with natural Brazilian extracts. Oh my God, I love the smell. It smells like caramel, vanilla, coconut. It just smells amazing, super moisturizing, and you get quite a bit. You get 13 ounces. I'll leave a link to that down below, or you can pick it up at Sephora. And then lastly, we have from Skin Iceland, the Icelandic Relief Eye Cream. I've been using this for the last like three or four days, and I really like it. It's just a very nice moisturizing eye cream. It When you... Put it on your finger, it feels a little thick, but then when you press it into the skin, it kind of shears out. Everything I've tried from Skin Iceland, I really like. I've tried their rubber mask, their eye mask, uh, something else I've tried from them. Um, I did a full review video on a couple of their products. I'll leave a link to it down below. And last up from YSL Beauty, we have their Beloup, Beloup, I never know how to say that, Beloup Day Tint in Balm in the color Seduce Me Pink. You guys know I love YSL Beauty. I love the packaging. Um, I love their Radiant Touche Clot. I love their neutralizers. So I really like a lot of their products. And this just gives me a nice sheer berry pinky color, moisturizes the lips, and I love the packaging. So... That is it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see me recreate some other makeup looks. I want to do next, like maybe recreate someone that does a very colorful look. But I really like the way this turned out. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to check out the videos on the screen. Subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. And I will see you soon. Bye.